here's a process that we'll call whiplash coaching and we start with the ability to understand the objectives and in this quadrant there's four components we'll go up with what is it that we want to accomplish and for myself I have an event uh, May 5th in Chicago that I want to present to uh, presidents and business owners in the community and so I'll look at the template and start adding with the text for the appropriate uh, quadrant. I'll also add other components that I want to accomplish 30 to 40 participants and so I feel that I have that target. I'm going to have it at the Renaissance Hotel and I'll put that as the how I'm going to accomplish that. Then we look at where am I at now? I have 14 RSVPs that agreed to attend. I'm also uh, making continual contacts with them, both on the phone and in person, as well as having a support team that is in place that could assist me with making this event happen. Then we look at the why. Why do I want to do this? Of course, uppermost uh, may be well, revenue stream. But actually we look at the bigger why and the smaller why. Let's continue with any other reasons I want to put this together. Well, the facilitation process is important to me and I want to be able to do that with a group. Additionally, I want to have it uh, interesting for myself and make it a bit challenging. And maybe a bigger why would be a sense of uh, purpose that I'm continuing on the path that I've set up for my career and that I want to get back to the community. So under Mingo, there's uh, big whys and smaller whys, and maybe a sense of purpose is a bigger why, and I can move that up to the top. Maybe rubbing the stream, maybe a smaller why. And I could move around the different components so that I can really put them in place. With this tool called Real-Time Board, I can go through different components and actually select with a pen and check off next to what I would probably feel most important to highlight it. I also have the ability to create shapes, to create notes, make comments in different areas, and link different components. I can also undo my previous move. So that's a sample of the objectives quadrant and the uh, different modules of using the template. Let's look at Bill. Bill volunteered to go through the process of whiplash coaching. He said what he wanted to do was organize an online conference. He wanted to have that with a focus on games and training. He 
You wanted to target it on June 20th of this year. It's an online format. Called Sococo. So he's very specific about what he wants, when he wants it, and the tools that he wants to use. Then uh, we step to where is he at now? Well, he's putting together a draft on skid.org. You need speakers. Hasn't started yet. Another one of the what he wants to accomplish is having anywhere from 20 to 100 people participate. Then we ask why. Why do you want to do this? Because he wants to lead to a spatial environment. Also wants to teach Sokoko, which will give an opportunity to learn Sokoko. And also learn more about the gaming industry and games. So we could shift around those different components. Another why is trying to understand what games are used And perhaps we want to look at how he's going to accomplish this. He's going to contract with a company. And of course they have a tech infrastructure that would assist them with this. He also has friends to tweak the design. He also needs to come up with a pricing model for this. He also wants to have the ability to receive the money and collect the money. Then we look at what is his biggest challenge or issue that he's facing today. And he says, well, tracking attendees. And of course they have access to the venue. So he thinks about that, ponders what is his biggest challenge or issue in putting this together. Are there other challenges? He says in marketing, he's interested in 
having people come to this. So when we look at those challenges and issues in identifying what needs to be done, we want to make sure that we could drill down this a little bit more so that there's a lot more clarity put together in this. Because the main issue that he comes up with may not be stated right away. So we have an opportunity to really clarify a lot more by being able to ask questions and have the group interact with Bill so that we can ask different questions about what exactly is the issue in clarifying this. So we'll come up with a different section where we start just asking questions and not coming up with solutions or any recommendations at this point. So one of the questions may be, why Sokoko? Have you considered some other ones? And his answer is because he's better to teach the Agile method. It's better than slides. So any other questions? How important is the money? And his answer is, or learning is important, and learning how to receive the money is important, and getting masters. Another question is, how is the marketing proceeding? And he replies, he has two friends that can assist him with this. He can reach out on social media, as well as have a personal touch or referrals that would be able to assist him with connecting with this event. Also important to him is tracking on Eventbrite so that he's able to know how many are coming and how many are willing to pay. So we come back to the challenges and issues. Are these still the biggest challenges based on the questions? and perhaps anything else has surfaced up. And Bill replies, coordinating who is paying and the enrollment process. So now we have three different issues and it's important that we can get clarity about this and maybe perhaps eliminate different issues or keep them all and prioritize them. So now that we have the issues clarified or the challenges, we want to come up with suggestions. And perhaps one of the suggestions may be, have you brought in a team 
that perhaps are contracted or trusted advisors and perhaps educations or educators from a marketing standpoint what have you considered and would you be willing to bring in personnel that are already connected and have connections from a partnering standpoint consider connecting with a partner that already has the type of population that you want and those that can talk in innovation games so now Bill can get very clear about his issues so to recap we go from the objectives what is it that we want to accomplish where do we want to do that why do we want to do that the big why the smaller why and come up and redefine the issues by asking questions from the group and also getting suggestions from the group and that way outlines and identifies the biggest challenge to address so that's what we call whiplash coaching in a method that we can get a lot of clarity for the participant for the person being coached this has been Rocky Romero at IAF virtual and uh, presenting whiplash coaching for you reach us at profitcoaching.com